What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Check this out, this is how we're gonna start. Look at this, look at this. See what that is? That's a mouse trap, and not just one. I bought a second one, and there's another one right here, and another one on the floor over here. Because there's a mouse in our apartment. Yeah, there's a freaking mouse in our apartment, and it's really pissing us off. It's like the cherry on top of all the issues that have gone down in the last couple months living here. We first saw the mouse a few days ago in our bedroom, and then we tried to catch it, and it, it, it ran off. That thing is speedy as heck, and disappeared. Fast forward to last night, we saw it snooping around our stove, like right in here where the flames are. I was tempted to just, uh, you know, put that on and burn the thing to, to death, but I don't think I want my whole place smelling like mouse. So check out this video. This dude is just chilling in the stove, eating on a Hershey Kiss. And I think it jumped on, somehow got onto this kitchen island, because this is where we keep all of our Hershey Kisses, right here, and yeeted one, and brought it over to the stove somehow, and started munching on that thing. Yeah, I have left a review on Google. I'm just waiting for the leasing office downstairs to give me a phone call and ask me to take it out. Ready to go have some fun, girl, for the day. Ready to have some fun with your best friend. We found a pretty good rover here in Atlanta, and uh, she has a little poodle herself that Ellie is best friends with. So pretty much any day that Skylar and I are just really busy or have a lot of things going on, we'll take Ellie over to her to have uh, a play date for the day. Let's go, girl. Let's have a good time, Ellie. Jelly. Hopefully I have an update for you by the end of this video that we caught the mouse. Uh, but right now it's still on the loose. I have no idea where it is. And until we catch it, I am not comfortable cooking anything in, in our place or frankly eating any of the food that's currently in our apartment in case Ratatouille was on top of that thing. So with that being said, you know what we gotta get for breakfast. Hero Donuts. This place is amazing. And today we got something new. We got the loaded hash browns with some, I think some, some chipotle sauce, some egg, some peppers, and some chicken patty sausage in there as well let's dive right in 9 out of 10 amazing every time and i haven't been to too many breakfast spots here in atlanta but of the ones i've been to they have hands down the best hash browns in the city check them out let's get in the rest of the vlog today i hope you enjoy let's go come here zeus come on zeus Guys, if you are an OG, like I'm talking like the top 1% of my viewers, then you might remember Zeus. We fostered him a little over a year ago. He's my brother's dog now, and he is such an amazing dude. Come here, Zeus. You want to meet Ellie? Dude, I think I think you would enjoy dating Ellie. I really do. I think he and Ellie would would, uh, would go good together. But you better know that Ellie, if you date Ellie, she's the boss relationship. What she says goes. Can you handle that? Can you do that? Yeah, he can do that. Oh yeah, look at that. So today I thought I'd give you guys uh, basically a life update. I like doing these life updates about twice, maybe three times per year. Last one I did was about five months ago, so I think it's about time. One thing that I started noticing in my life are the Sunday scaries. And I assume all you guys know what the Sunday scaries are, but if you don't, it's basically when you get butterflies in your stomach and you start getting a dreadful feeling on Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening about the next day on Monday when you gotta go back to work. The weekend is supposed to be a relaxing, chill time for you to get away from work, but you can't help think about work on Monday starting on Sunday, so it basically ruins part of your weekend. And it's, it's kind of weird because I really do enjoy what I do. I, I like it a lot. It's exciting. It's it's high energy. You know, there's some stress involved as, as well. But I still get this feeling like every Sunday afternoon about going back to to work on Monday. And I don't think there's much you can do to to solve this uh, besides deliberately treat Sunday night as if it's still part of, of the weekend. And excuse me, there's a dog barking and. Uh, Zeus doesn't like that neighbor, I don't think. But you should deliberately make plans to do something on Sunday night, whether it's go see a movie. Uh, I think that's something we, we start slacking off a little bit for whatever reason. We used to, to love seeing movies, so gotta get back into that. You know, go out to dinner during football season. Uh, me and my buddies would always go go get a beer for you know the 8-15 Sunday night game at the, at the local bar. And just doing stuff like that just helps get your mind off of work on Monday until work on Monday morning rolls around, then you can worry about it. Show me what's up with me off the ground now This love's been a long time coming 
All right, we're at Club Drive Park in Lawrenceville, and it is Skyler's second practice for the women's flag football team that she joined. So uh, pretty cool. I might want to get into something like that myself. But getting back on topic to uh, to the stress that comes with you know Sunday scaries and working on Monday, I think overall my stress has significantly gone down, uh, which which is a really good thing. Obviously, I've made a bunch of videos before telling you guys how how stressed I am. And uh, I, I, you know, I still obviously have some stress. You know, I, I work full time. I do YouTube. I coach soccer. I try to keep up with my fitness routine and, and the gym, and that all takes time and energy, which in return causes stress. But recently, I really feel like I am I'm less stressed than before, and that's because I'm, del I'm deliberately focusing on my time off, my relaxation. There's two ways that I've really focused on on decreasing my stress. The first is realizing how truly blessed and fortunate I am in life, and the second thing is also realizing that the troubles and issues that I have aren't actually issues I mean they're not in this big world that we live in these things I'm worried about don't really matter like I could complain about the mouse in our apartment which is, is obviously still there and hopefully by the time I get home it's in one of the mouse traps we'll see but yeah you know, I could I could complain about the mouse in the apartment or I could complain about how the elevators are always down which they are or I could complain about how the gym flooded a couple weeks ago which it did you know these are all issues but you take a step back and you realize there's so many people out there. Actually, you know, most people out there are in worse situations than I am. A lot of people just can't afford rent. They can't. They literally just can't afford rent. A lot of people out there are homeless. The people that are becoming, there's more and more people that are becoming homeless by the day because everything is so expensive. You know, but I'm complaining that the living conditions that I'm in aren't uh, pristine and perfect. You know, come on now. Th doesn't matter. Another update is that I actually started a new position at my job. So if you didn't know, and of course you can look me up on LinkedIn, I'm not gonna share the company name, but I work for an accounting and finance recruiting firm here in Atlanta. And before my role was essentially a headhunter. So for every open position that my firm would work on for one of our clients, I would go out into the Atlanta market and headhunt people, recruit people to try to fill that position for our clients. Now I moved over to the client side where I'm doing BD, business development, trying to bring in new clients for uh, my company. And I like it a lot, it is more salesy which is what I wanted from the start. It's a lot of negotiations, contract uh, agreement talk, all that jargon. It is, it's pretty cool, it's fun. Like I said, it can be a little stressful, but uh, not nearly as stressful, I think, for me as uh, as what it used to be. I do a lot of cold calling at work, which I've, I've come to enjoy, actually. I mean, at first, it was fine. Uh, you know, I didn't mind doing it, but I've really come to kind of enjoy it because, you know, what's the worst that can happen when you cold call someone? All they can do is either hang up, hang up the phone, which fine, conversation over, or they can tell you no, either in a nice way or in a mean way. If they tell you no in a mean way, then they're just having a bad day and you gotta tell yourself, you don't let someone else having a bad day f affect your own day. And uh, it's, it's pretty fun. It, it teaches you some life lessons like overcoming objections and getting used to people telling you no, because in life, you'll get told no a lot more than you'll get told yes. They get some touches in while Skylar finishes up her practice and they just announced that you're going to be quarterback. Yes. Quarterback, baby. Quarterback of the team right here. And another life update is that my girl can throw football better than I can. I'm, I'm not scared to admit that. Back home and this mouse is going to make my hair start to fall out because we set up four traps. None of them got the mouse, dude. That mouse is smart as, as crap. Like we set one right here on the kitchen counter. Not caught. One down here in case it uh, goes on the floor. And we put a Hershey's kiss in there because it likes Hershey's. Yeah. Not caught either. We set one over here because this is where we initially saw it. it's crawling underneath this door right here. Yeah, that thing get it. And then one more in the bedroom. Make sure there's no mouse when I walk around this corner. One here in the bedroom closet. Right there. Yeah, right there. They're not budging that one either. This mouse is chilling in our apartment, not paying any rent. Pisses me off. I think the, the last update I have for you is 
2024 feels like a, a weird year for me and i think it's just because everything about this year is unknown i don't know anything how anything is going to go in 2024 i don't know where i'm going to be where i'm going to live what i'm going to do how the year is going to go and this is different from the last few years because going into 2021 that is the year where i knew i was making the big move from ohio leaving my parents house to georgia by myself going into 2022 that the big thing about that year was scott moving in with me i knew my life was going to get flipped upside down because of that 2023 was kind of the the maturity progression year i really feel like i was more established here i grew more into a man as opposed to a boy and that was the first full year at my new job as well as coaching uh, soccer in, in the streets here. Going into 2024, we have a vacation planned in uh, in April for just like four days. Other than that, like nothing else. Nothing else is planned. I don't know what, what's going to go on. And there's some beauty to that about just uh, not knowing what's going to come next and being surprised and, and taking life by its horns and you know, just roll with it and see what happens. So I really hope you enjoyed another video today as much as I did making it. Let's wrap it up right now. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. As always guys, work hard, be nice to people. I'll see you guys next Monday.